Since All Stars being Rajibade on Asazi Godara were 2015's hottest celebrity couple following their New York wedding on the 4th of July. Well, after their honeymoon and return to Lagos, Entertainment News snagged them for their first TV interview as a couple. Let's relive that moment one more time. Your man is loving you. Loving, loving. Raving Nollywood couple Osasi Godaro and Benura Jibade, fresh off the back of their highly publicized wedding, joined entertainment news on channels television for their first television interview since saying the big I do. With both of them already enjoying rave reviews um, as actors, get, and in Benro's case, also a model, the big question is how has being married changed their individual lives? I've become more responsible. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I've become more responsible, but I mean, like, this is to the boys, you know, there's, there's no big deal about marriage at the end of the day. It boils down to the fact that, like, for me, I married my friend, I married my best friend. So, I would say there are times when... I was never seen in love with her. It's friendship that was just... Um, being independent. That when I'm, I'm, I'm used to, okay, Osas and just focus on myself and all that. But being with Ben Ruro, it's really taught me the importance of partnership, working together, communicating. Um, and it's a, it's a work in process as well. So it's a day-to-day -day thing for us and I'm grateful for the change and the growth in terms of being able to grow as a person with my significant other. Over the years, Ben Rajivade has been able to create an identity for himself with his trademark dreadlocks. Without warning, his thick, long mop head style disappeared. We asked him why. So this was just me taking my decision in terms of this is a new face. This is, in fact, it boils the surface of the whole story is that it's like a rebranding. You know, I'm married now. Yes, I. If, if it was because of her, her but for crying out loud, I've done it before the traditional wedding in Benin. You know, so the only decision of taking it out on the wedding day was because I wanted her to be surprised to see mm -hmm. how I could be differently. <laughs> <laughs> I was very, very, very surprised. It's funny when people are like, oh, Osas made her husband cut, cut his hair. And it wasn't like that at all. It was a huge surprise. When he was telling me I'm thinking about doing it, it was me who was like trying to convince him not to cut his funny hair. Funny enough, yeah. Because apparently <laughs> the, the, the hair was a little bit longer than that. It was up to this level, you know, yeah. the short. She was the one that literally stopped me. That time I was ready to take out the hair. Of course, everyone knows that um, we met on the set of Tinsel. Um, but our characters never met, though. Never met, never acted together, nothing. Yeah. Never even crossed. At all. Same scene. So Adana and Soji has never met. So we've never we've been on the same production before, but we've never acted together before. So this is the first production project that we've actually acted together. The Lovebirds, however, made their first film together on Walter Banger's flick, Bomo Bomo Express. Um, the thing is, is that we started out as colleagues, so we have that respect for one another as actors. So there's always that mindset of, okay, we're on set, it's business, it's work. We separate that with at-home life, and we keep that most definitely separate and respect respect each other for that. It boils down to the fact that we were being, we are always professional. Like I mean right now I have the pride and the courage to tell you that I own her forever, you know. So you it's own always me. Yes sir. Yes, <laughs> oh you paid Dyer, okay. I paid no. <laughs> yeah, you know, so um the fact that we we always try to be professional, you know, we draw the line, we keep the love faces, the husband, the friend, and all of that in the house. You know, then when we come on set, we bring our A-game to the table. 
but I don't know you like that. And at this moment, I don't think I even want to get to know you. I don't want to be in this mess. That wasn't what you were saying last night. We were busy down in my champagne and sucking on my face. We know all about your sponsorship. And I'm grateful and blessed because, I mean, Barrow knows that I'm an actor and he knows what comes with the whole responsibility of being an actor. But we were filming overnight and if he wasn't on this set and I had to call him and say, oh, babe, oh, I have to film overnight on a film set, he wouldn't have taken that lightly. So the fact that he was actually there doing it made it easy for me. Um, but it was grueling because of the mosquito bites and having to film overnight and... I mean, from our point of view, it brought on to the fact that I was there just in case. You know, just in case. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so I could, I, could, I could allow her, or allow that to happen because I could be her best protection. The smitten lovers ooze an air of togetherness, so much so that you can tell how happy they are together. So, it's safe to say, Nollywood's happy ever after fantasy has become their reality.